Can you get on page quick over here, <clears throat> and we actually went to the end of the, of the top section. <clears throat> Where the rabbi qualifies a bit of what he said earlier, and it still stands. That the, in Rotzen is different than the other koyches, but only the order of the koyach is nimshach to have effect outside. Rotzen, it is the atzmos of Rotzen, the atzmos Rotzen that is nimshach, and here he qualifies this, <coughs> and he says that in fact it is only the haora for Rotzen that is nimshach, except this haora is nimshach indifferently than the Ha'ora of other Koyches. The other Koyches, the Ha'ora is Nimshach, in, in the way Ha'ora would be Nimshach. It is constantly reducing itself as it's coming down further, further, closer to the target in what it's trying to affect. Rotsin is not taking account what it's trying to affect, in other words, the recipient. Rotzing is affecting because of its own will, what it wants to affect. So although it is a ha'ora, but the, the, ob- the object of the ha'ora is to affect what Rotzing wants, not to coordinate and to, and to, um, to accommodate, uh, acclimate to, to the target. It's called Seder Hishtalshuvas. <coughs> so even though, in fact, it is a Ha'ora, that's why Rotin is, is in the Nefesh. But the Ha'ora has the power of the Yatsa. And this is why the Rotin is able to affect, to force all the other Koiches mm. to come forth. Because the rotzin, as it comes out, it has the principle of this is what has to be done. So we dis- we explained it as a bit masholim and so forth. <coughs> In essence, just to have a little grasp on it as we continue. We pointed out that there's a difference when a person says I want there are two distinct levels in I want even though both are order of what he really wants still there are two distinct ways how this want expresses itself using the example which is a very common and clearly understood example a person wants money. There is the wanting money after the fact. If I had money, it would be a nice thing to have. Then the reason I want money is that he, he, he goes and he does everything that's, that's possible to do to get this money. He creates the money rather than wait for it to come to him. This creating, this creating element, going going forward into to to actually connive and finding ways to and, you know, with standing in a in a position, what's called iron. There is nothing there, and he goes and creates a situation by working hard and by by negotiating deals and so forth to create this element. This is. This is an essential that's, that's a, uh, um, in, in Rotsen. You create something where it doesn't exist. So although this is also a ha'ora of the Rotsen, meaning he, he, he has already identified what he wants, which is a ha'ora, 
But in this Ha'ola, there is a power of the whole world. It's not creating the Rotsam from, from non, a, a non-experience at all. He already is focused, he knows what he wants. <coughs> but he goes and creates it from scratch. This is the essence, the essential part of Rotsam. Because I think the Ha'ora of the Rotsam, there is of the Atmos of Rotsam element, this is why it is capable of, of affecting the koiches in a manner that it actually is, is bringing out in the koiches things that the koiches themselves don't, don't even know that they have. It creates it from scratch. This is why we say that Rotzin, there's an Atzmius element of Rotzin that is Nimshach, even though it's only Haora. But it's a Haora reflective of, the, of what Rotzin is in essence. Not like in other Koychas, like in Seichel, where the Haora does not have the essential, the essence of the Seichel. It only has the conclusive aspect, what Seichel has, has discovered. Okay, so now we're going to the second second section in page on page Kufkavai. We move on Gamke thus it should also be understood. Again, I am alerting everyone who is listening to this year of learning of this these I and base subtleties that the only way to learn this is by being focused and listening to what the Rebbe is telling us. Not trying to understand it from my own perspective, my own background, my own experience. Here the teacher is the center of all attention. I really want to understand what you are telling me, not how I take it. Do I agree with you? We move on Gamke. And thus, it will also be understood based on what we already explained. And the principle that we explained is the difference between Rotsa, which is a Kerch Makifi, which is not Mislabish and Kaili, and Kerchus Pnimiim that are Mislabish and Kaili. So, from all that we've explained in this, in this aspect, it should also be understood that I'm sure has a Rotsa, that the, the, the drawing down of the Rotsa, Shenimshach, where it is drawn, Bechol Levone Haguf, in all limbs and, and organs of the body, Upeyabahem, and it actually has an effect in these, in these organs. It has an effect in the organs. And again, I just want to point out, the effect that Rotsin has on the organs is different than the Seichel. Seichel also has an effect on the organs. Seichel only guides the hand, how it should do, what the hand wants to do. Rotsing tells the hand what to do. Not on the basis of Seichel, but the hand of its own, of its own perspective, its own want. Like we said, when the Rotsing gives the Koyak to, for the foot, to move, to walk, it is not due to the fact that, that the foot should understand that you want to get to this particular place. Move, 
This is the statement of Lot. Where to? It's not your business. I'll tell you after the fact. Therefore, it's understood also that when the Rotzin is Nimsha Bcholivoy Aguf, the Rotzin is is brawn, but done in all parts part of the body. Who pray about him, and it has an effect within them. It actually directs, actually arouses them to action. Ein that Hamshocho is not bevchines his galus mamosh is not in his galus. In actually, his galus revelation um, uh, um, state. That explains, and then we'll discuss it. Kamoi, as would be his galus oipnim, as is in oipnim. Oipnim means the the functional koyches, the oyed, the 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 koyach that is actually imbues itself in the function itself, like seichel and midas. Where the Hisgalus on the Kvechel is Midas, it's a full Hisgalus. This is what the Seichel is, and this is what the Seichel understands. Liya is Bibkinis Yisabos, we Yisabos in Akoiches. By Rotzin, there is not this kind of Hamshocha that it should be actually united with the Koiches. It cannot be. United with, with other koiches, with other evolim. Why is that? Meyachar being that chain of the Kinesoi since that the Rotsoin does not have this relationship of an oil and keili aspect. Oil and keili be discussed, discussed well. Quite a bit. Essentially, in the principle of Oyvik Eli, it's like this. I'm, I'm kind of reintroducing what we haven't really discussed many times recently. A carpenter builds a table, he's not really building a table, he's putting two pieces of wood together. His skill is in how to put the two pieces of, uh, of of wood together in a proper way that it should stay together. That is his skill. The form of the table, and furthermore, the significance of the table, the use of the table, this is from a, this is identified from a, from a different source and different perspective. The table, by the carpenter table, is, is almost an inadvertent result. He followed a certain schematic, a certain design, and he made it, and, 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 and it stands. The result of that is a table. This is not what he was aiming at. He was aiming at making the food stay together properly. This is the carpentry per se. This is what we this explains as a difference between you know, that what happened in the history of, of production. He says the, the assembly line the assembly line, what he was doing, they, they, they each each station did perfectly what he needed to do, making that particular connection. But they're not involved in what they are producing. As a result, it was a lopsided accomplishment. It was accomplished, but it was lopsided. Because in order to accomplish the final product, you have to focus on the final product. For that, you need much more than the skill of putting things together. You need the spirit. You need the appreciation of what you're trying to do. That is my, this is the Rotsin. This is a much higher union. And this is why the assembly line <coughs> in the long term, the term could be said well, it was a failure. And it had to be modified. The Rotsoin is not Nimshech in the Evorim in his Galus Mamash in a manner that it actually speaks to the Evor at its level. The way it is in Oipnimi. 
saw that it would be his arbus with Saldus and Kirchus, and that, that the Rotsen would be intertwined and completely united by the Kirchus. This is what happens when you are talking about a skill, a, a limited skill. But in Rotsen, that's not possible. Because the Rotsen is a name of Kinas He doesn't have the, he doesn't. It doesn't relate to the principle of an oiva keili. Oiva keili means what you explained. The table represents the oil hanefesh of a table. The keili is the, the structure of the, the wood structure. The rotin cannot relate to the keili aspect. It speaks, speaks only of the oil, only of what, what the nefesh and the, uh, appreciates here. Therefore, it cannot be completely involved in, 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 in the koichas. It doesn't go down to that level. It stays at the, at the projected purpose. The hamshocha, and thus the hamshocha of the rotsin is, who may atzim of the rotsin. The hamshocha is from the atzim of the rotsin. Again, atzim of the rotsin means, let's finish the line. That's a more rotten sheeno begadin his galus mamash, which is not that's a more rotten which is not in the category of being his galus mamash or true revelation of true presence or true identification. His galus means an identifiable and an isolated aspect. Kiim rather, how would what is his galus of rotten is? Zehu, they become to something very, very important, extremely subtle. The Gilu of the Rotsen represents Masheho Atzmus Nimshach. The Gilu of the Rotsen represents the, the, the principle, the fact that the Atzmus is Nimshach, the Atzm is Nimshach. Now I have to make a brocha. Brocha to Adam Mulimul, is Nimshach, going to be going. To explain this, I'm going to step away for a moment. When you teach a human being any skill, simple or complex or profound and very subtle, you're always focused on one principle. This is a human being who ultimately will appreciate what I'm teaching him. Not by the steps that I'm showing him, but by, by the, the significance behind these steps. He will understand it because he's a human being. He, from, from a full sense of a human soul, he will appreciate what I'm teaching him. It will take time to orient himself at this level, but he will immediately relate to the, to the reality of it. Let's take a very simple example. You're teaching a child to write. Make lines, make the alphabet, the intention to write. So even though you're teaching him to write letters and very simple words, he immediately relates to the principle that in writing you you can communicate your thought on paper. As a matter of fact, before he writes a line, he intends to write a line. He is not just following, making a line by his hand. He, he intends to make, line, to make a line, and he focuses in to make the, to make the line correctly. He really appreciates what, what the ultimately, uh, the ultimate significance of writing. Although he's far from writing him, a story of writing a thought. Why is that? Because he's a human being. A human being, <coughs> by the very definition of what a human being is, he has 
the, the, the full recognition of, of his human of his human uh, status, your human appreciation of things at every level. Even at the simplest level. He never eats like a cat. Never. Even when he is sloppy, he has not learned yet to learn to eat neatly. He's, he's never even as, as a, he's not, he's not a cat. Like I mentioned to you, I remember our little daughter, we were feeding her in, in, a, in a high chair. And we were feeding her with a spoon. She tried to, to scoop the food up by her spoon and it didn't work. So inevitably she would have to pick it up in her fingers. How can you feed yourself with your fingers? So she would pick the food up, put it in a spoon and then feed her. Mm-hmm. It was a sight to behold. This is a human being. A human being eats with a spoon. Not because of any peripheral reasons, need, and this is how human being eats. Not with his fingers, he's not a cat. This is what you keep saying over here. The fourth line from the from the beginning of this section that we're learning. Kiim, rather, it is not a his galus. A his galus means an isolated statement from the roots. Like you will bring something in a cave. Do this as a result of that is this is what ha- happened. He always talks about the result, not about how to get to, to it. Kim rather zehu mashehu atzmus nimshach. Rotin is when the atzmus is nimshach, the atzm of the, uh, the, the, the atzm, the reality of this entity of the human being. This is what is brought forth in Gil Harot. He wants it this way because he's a human being, not because he has a, a, this will. And thus it is present in the Aver and the Koyach in which, he, in which he has the effect. He is present here. Trotsky is present. He is guiding him. He is telling him what to do. But who begins Makif Levad? It remains in the Makif level. It does not retranslate and redefine itself according to the Kaili in which it functions. The Rotsin will never compel the person to just connect two pieces of wood together. There cannot be a will of this. This is not part of the will of an effort. Let me qualify this a little bit. We know there is a difference between a carpenter and a carpenter. There's one who connected two pieces piece of wood, just making it connected, and one who connected in such a neat way that that itself carries carries a beauty. Carries a a beauty. Mm-hmm. So there, yes, he is actually focused on the connection but not the physical connection. There is still a neshama element. This neshama element is from the atom of the human being. It is not that he observed a piece of wood connected to other and he said, oh, it's pretty beautiful, let me, let me do it. He's imitating the, the result of the connection. No, no, he is, he is providing the result. He is proactive. This is Satrotin is pale. Abu is Makiv Levad, but he remains Makiv, he remains aloof. 
to the able and to the action. Where he does not really mischab him, bind himself with this koyach. And then the Rebbe again qualifies it. Vahagam, although. Sheyef shen loimer. It's impossible to say sheyne mischab kol. It's impossible to say that he is not reunite and bind himself at all with the koyach or with the eva. Sheharei hu poil bahem. Since that he is actually effective there. So how can you say he's not mischaver? He's not telling the head to walk, he's telling the, the foot to walk and the hand to, to move in, in, in its way. So he's mischaver, he's recognizing where he is active and, 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 and so forth. So how can you say he's not mischaver? And if he were totally at a distance, how would we then be able to be to have an effective to be effective in the Avon? There is no way that you can affect an action by looking at the Avon. For example. You have to connect to it. The rotten affect the action, that means the rotten is mishabi v'deib. V'gam, furthermore, <coughs> this is still discussing the principle that we say, ene mishabi, he is not connecting to the eva. How some of them said, how, how, how it's impossible to say he's not mischabi. Because since he have, since he he does have an effect there. If he were at a distance, there was no way that he can be affected. The garment also, <coughs> another point that that floats out as a result of saying that he has an effect on the body. And if you say that he is not mischabi, he's not connecting at all, then Lehoyo Nefil Boze. Shame ham shochokla. So then the term of ham shocho, of drawing it down, would not be applicable there in that in that uh, in that scenario. If the rotten stays aloof in its own perspective, its own level, just an observer. Then the term hamshocha that you draw from the from the orotzi, and it draws and it comes forth into the aver and into the koyach to affect it, that the term hamshocha would not be applicable because it always remains where he is. Again, when you look at things, There's no hamshacha. You you're observing it from 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 your vantage point where you are. <coughs> by the rotting, the harotting, and yet by the rotting, harei honim shachal koponim, harei honim shach. By the rotting, behold, it is nim shach. It is drawn al koponim. What does al koponim mean? Kaponi means even if you minimize the, the, the significance of this hamshokh, that it's not a hamshokh that it becomes intertwined with the Eber and the Koyak in which it is Nimshach. But, but nonetheless, the, the, the term, the, the, the principle of hamshokh exists. That's what I'll call upon it. Whichever way you, you twist and turn, there is an aspect of hamshokh. In, in the koiches, to be effective in the koiches. The rotten is definitely nimshach, however you minimize it, however you, you re, re-explain it and so forth, it's still the nimshach in the eva. Okay, and the rotten is not 
why what is so compelling in this statement that yes you can't so to speak avoid um, um, accepting the fact that he is nimshach because we see the fact that the Aver acts according to the Rotson. Not only according to the Rotson, it is completely initiated, the whole initial state action is, is the power of the Rotson. I want to explain the significance of initial action. <clears throat> initial action of let's say of standing up or of moving a foot, moving a hand initial action is of tremendous significance because then th- this is where you are changing a state instead of being in, in this state, in a restful state, thing, you, you, you're going into a, an active state this change of venue requires enormous focus an identity what you're doing what this is about once like we know we know let's say in a car <clears throat> to initially to to start the car moving you need an, an, a, a extra power i know if you're familiar the cars the original cards and these cards, the current cards also have it, but it's but it's um, hidden. There are three gears, three stages in how the car moves. Three gears. There's a there's a first gear, the second gear, and the third gear. The first, and it used to be that you had to actually shift first gear, second gear, and third gear. You could not start the car in third gear. You didn't produce enough power, moving power, to move the, to start the car from its from a stationary state. To start the car, you had to put it in first gear. What was the first gear? First gear was a very extremely inefficient in terms of, of in terms of, of, of speed and, and, and distance, but it was very efficient in terms of power. Let me explain in general terms what that means. Let's say this is a this is a, a gear that 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 turns in the motor. This can turn indefinitely. But then this is attached to another gear. This other gear, this is what makes the wheels move. Now, this other gear, if it is a very large one, so when every turn on this, you, you make the other gear move a, a full circle, which means it have to, you have to actually move the, the, the wheel. For this, you need a tremendous amount of power. A little, this little teeny thing cannot move a, 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 the big circle that makes a, a, a complete circle on, on the wheel. So what happens? What do you do? You you start off, you start off with with, with a smaller circle. So when this when this turns, <coughs> it turns the the wheel gear halfway. So the full power of this is exhausted in turning the wheel just a couple of inches. So all the power of this is, but then this is so powerful, it's able to move the, to, to initially move the wheel out of, 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 of a rest state. This is called first gear. Second gear becomes even more efficient. And then third gear is where one turn of this moves the wheel a, a, a great distance. Once it's in movement, then yes, you can continue to move it. You don't need all that power. <coughs> this is the initial. initial. This, the Rotschen, the Rotschen has many states, but initially, it initials, it, it, it initiates a movement. This initiated movement, is you need the full power of the Rotschen. You cannot initiate the movement. Yeah, I agree. Why not? That's not going to happen.
You want to go to shul this morning? You want to go daven with the minion? Why not? It's not going to happen. Guaranteed, it's not going to happen. The only way it's going to happen is to say, yes, of course I want to daven. And I'm going to the time down, get up and earlier so that I may be there on time. That is the only way it's going to happen. Okay, so therefore, there is definitely a yamshocha from the rotsam into the koiches to to effectuate a movement, especially an action. And for this, in, 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 especially in the yinig, you need a lot of power, rotsam power. So how do we then say that the rotsam is not with his chabros with the koiches? It is that, it, and it is nimshav into the koifis. I just want to start the next thing, so we're going to be in the middle just quickly. Hoin and who? However, the principle in this, I mean, say it's not Bibhishkab, his chabras. He is saying that Bibhishkab is chabras, Kmoyer, Vikay. You say it's not his habits, I mean his habits at the level of any